Now hardeners can be real tricky, right? There are solvents in hardeners from a fast, medium, and slow, but there's also isocyanates in here. Now the tricky part with isocyanates are is it can react with humidity in the air. So when we looked at reducer, right? You say, okay, we're spraying at 70 degrees. I got a normal size job. I'm probably gonna use, you know, fast, right? A little cool out. I don't have a lot of airflow in my spray booth. I don't have the best spray booth in the world. So that part's pretty easy. Well, all of a sudden when you deal with hardeners, we say, okay, we have that same booth scenario. Maybe not a lot of air movement. I'm 70 degrees. I've got a normal size job. And you say, hey, I could use fast hardener. It, it, it's okay, but I've got a high humidity day. Well, with that humidity in the air, humidity is gonna react with isocyanate that's in the hardener. That's gonna start the cross-linking process a little bit faster maybe than what we were anticipating and that we were hoping for. So if you're in between hardeners and there's a humidity level in the air that's a little bit high, always make sure you move up to the slower one. The last thing you wanna be doing is spraying that job and doing a great job and then all of a sudden to find out that it's flashing off way too fast, it's starting to cross-link, it's catalyzing, and the next thing you know, you end up skinning the surface over and you end up with some fuzzy dieback, possibly some solvent pop later on. So it's always critical, yeah, to pay attention to the temperature we're spraying and the size of the job that we're doing. Um, you know, all that comes into play, but we always wanna pay attention to humidity levels when we start looking at you know, hardener selection as well. If we get into that 50% humidity range, I would say, yeah, it's probably not that critical. If we get into 75% humidity range, yeah, it's probably, gonna, it's probably gonna accelerate that cure rate a little bit faster with the isocyanates. Now, one of the most important things are when we're dealing with hardener is to make sure that you actually put the lid back on that container when you're done using it. Remember, if we leave the lid off and there's humidity in the atmosphere, it's going to react with the isocyanate while it's in that can. You may come and use it two, three days later, and guess what? That can may have already started to catalyze a little bit. So it's important, whenever we're mixing things, yeah, you got to have the lid off to pour it, but when you're done using it, always make sure you put the lid back on. That will always give you better performance.